All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to mount a bluegill. Now I'm going to go through the entire process. Going to fast forward through most of the video. Not going to talk a whole lot. Uh, like I said before, I'm not a professional taxidermist. Uh, I learned how to do this stuff online, YouTube articles. Uh, so I just do my best, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So uh, if you watch this video, you guys can try it as well. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to get started. First step, I'm going to trace the fish. So I have a copy to make on a foam carving for later. Uh, now we're going to start with the process of actually getting all the meat out of the fish. I'm going to lay it on this rag so it doesn't slip around. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make a center cut straight along the back side of the fish starting from the tip of the gill all the way down to the tail. Always just take your time. You don't want to rush. If you rush you can make a mistake, cut something and ruin your fish. Get under there just like that. You know, slow your, slowly work your way around, and then uh, once you get it kind of skinned out, you can start to take the meat out. Uh, what I got here is a little cleaner. Uh, you can use pretty much anything you can get can to get that meat out. You can use a, a washer, a quarter, uh, even you know a knife. Um, just take your time, and you can scrape it right out of there. Here I got here is the snips. I'm just gonna cut through that backbone by the tail. Way it's easier to rip out. Alright, that's looking pretty good. I have a little bit more to do, but you guys get the picture for right now. Uh, make sure you get, if it's a bigger fish, uh, make sure you get into the brain area, get all that stuff out there. If you don't, it'll rot and smell. Also, get the eyes. We're going to take the eyes out yet. Uh, maybe a little bit of the cheek meat. A lot of the bigger fish have more, but make sure you get that cheek meat as well because that'll rot. You want to get every piece of meat off the fish that you can, otherwise it's going to rot and smell and it's going to leak. So just take your time and scrape every little bit off. Uh, right now, uh, this is starting to look pretty good. All right, I have my cardboard cutout of the fish tracing that I did. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this on this piece of foam here for carving. Alright, my fish has been soaking for a few days. Uh, it's ready to go here. Got my carving. I'm going to place the fish inside the carving and sew it up.
I'll set to go, got my paint schedule book here. And just kind of the details, what colors you need to use, when you need to use them. Highly recommend getting one of these, makes it a lot easier. Alright, I'm going to just follow the steps and get started here.